Hey guys, welcome back to a video of creating process today. We'll be designing a chocolate text effect. So first of all, we'll trace out the sketches in the pen tool. Then we'll do some adjustment with the stroke using the wear tool. And finally, we'll add up the effects in Photoshop. So let's create a tutorial. Here's the sketch. Let's trace this out using the pen tool. Select the pen tool. Click, drag and maintain the flow. And this way, we'll trace out the whole design. Once your design is traced, select everything and give a stroke of 5 points. Now select all these 4 pieces, 1, 2, 3, 4 and let's do some changes. So go to stroke and change the profile to this. And if you have any directions, so select that and go to stroke and click this icon. Now we'll do some adjustment with the stroke thickness. So select this, double click on it and with the width tool you can make it narrow here and click make it broader here. In the same way double click inside make it narrow, broader, double click inside make it narrow, broader. So we have designed the text. We'll apply the same process to the whole design and here it is we have applied nice effect to each and every text. Now select everything and expand it. Go to object, expand. Next thing, we'll create few more elements. So select this, go to object path, offset path, and the offset path put the value minus 0.2 and change the joints to round and click OK. Command X, Command B, and put the stroke thickness to points. Now we'll create two more. Uh, so go to object, offset path, and put the value 0.08, click OK. In the same way, on the one, 0.16, and click OK. Now we'll duplicate this one more and give a stroke thickness of one point. Let's get back to Photoshop and create the text effects. So I'll select these two and drag into Photoshop. So here's the layer, we got two layer. Let's head out the top one and let's work out with the second layer. Double click on that and you got us layer style. We'll give a color overlay, dark brown. Let's uh, add bevel and embers. Well, we'll give little depth, distance and softness. Then after that, add a drop shadow, change the color to dark brown and give a little distance and size. And finally, add inner shadow, increasing the size and distance. And after that, unhide the top layer and add a color overlay. So select the color overlay and change the color to light brown and reduce the opacity of the layer to around 30%. Next, we need to add some shiny effects. So to add that, add a new layer and with the command press, just click on the text uh, smart object and mask it out. Now with the soft brush tool with opacity 10% white, we'll add a shine to this text uh, individually like this, uh, showing the light source and this is how it's going to look like. We'll also add shadow opposite to the shine. So to add that, create a new layer. With the command press, just click on the smart object text and create a mask. Now select the layer and change the color mode to color burn and choose the color from here, light brown and let's apply it opposite to the shine. So just draw it out individually like this and the final product will look like this. So if you hide it out layer, you can see the change. Now we'll add a glossy effect. To add that, I'll go, we'll go to Illustrator and bring in that uh, one point thickness uh, element to the Photoshop. So drag and drop it to Photoshop and here it is. Uh, uh, we'll double click on that and add an overlay color and change the color to light brown and we'll add outer glow, increase the outer glow value and now uh, we'll add a mask and with a brush tool just hide out the unwanted pieces just, just apply it like this just uh, draw it out with a black color selected and it will automatically hide out and only and leave only the part which you want to show so we'll do it for the whole design and if you check it out this is how it's going to look like the final design now let's get back to illustrator select these two elements and drag and drop to photoshop so here it is, we got a two layer in Photoshop. Let's hide out the second layer and work out with the top layer. Double click on that and add inner shadow. Let's give light brown color and increase the size to 29 and click OK. Now add a mask and with the soft brush tool, let's hide out the unwanted area like this. So we'll do this to the whole design and this is how it's going to look like. Now we'll do the same if steps to the second layer and with little variation and the final look will be like this. Now finally we'll give some little adjustment to the colors. So I'll add a new adjustment layer, hue and saturation. Change the saturation value to 30 and lightness minus 5 and click OK. And you can see a fresh nice uh, color, chocolatey color there. So finally we have completed designing the text effect. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Don't forget to check out the next tutorial coming up. And if you are more updates on designing, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thank you.